Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to animate hair in real time. Yeah, let's go. So how we're going to do this is to make the hair with like the real time animation. Basically, all it is, is we have a rig for, rig for the hair, obviously, because we need to have like a rig. Um, and then to do that is we're going to have like a cloth simulation on a piece of mesh. And then we're going to make the rig follow the cloth. I mean, the cloth. So you can still animate the hair with the rig, but you also have the real time, uh, like the viewport, whatever, the animation. But yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go add in. Uh, so I already have a rig for my character. So I'm going to go over and meta rig and then extend this for the hair. So you can really have the head, uh, the hair went forward, but whatever. Um, I'll just put the, the armature back on so you can see. So, armature, uh, armature, okay. So you can see the whole hair just follows the rig right now. Oh, that part messed up or whatever. Doesn't matter. So basically all we're gonna do now is we're gonna select the hair uh, and then we're gonna make a rig for it. So we're gonna go shifty and then drag to the top and then drag it over extrude 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 okay so we have our rig for our hair now so it even doesn't matter whatever just hair one hair two hair three and hair four okay and then we can just go weight paint this quickly so Let's go control to so select the, the mesh then the rig and then with empty groups goes back to the mesh and you'll see we have hair one two three and four okay so hair four will be there and then we can select this edge but uh, sorry i forgot about my short keys on so what i'm gonna do is this old uh, old right clicking and an old shift right clicking um, i use right click select so if you use left click select you're obviously just going to use left click okay so I'm going to sign, and then I'm going to sign, uh, going to sign to two, and then assign this one to one. Okay. So now you'll see. Okay. Uh, we actually have to remove the whole hair piece from the head because right now, if we go back up to the head, which is spine zero zero six, the the whole head is affecting the the ponytail but whatever it doesn't really matter but yeah so now you see it follows the properly okay so we've got our hair to work so the hair is following the rig so next off what we need is we need to put a empty on every point of this rig okay so it, this will make sense in the end so we're going to cursor be selected and then go shift a empty plate axis okay i'm just going to scale this down and then get the next one shifty uh selection to cursor cursor selected shifty selection to cursor and so on to get all the points uh shifty selection to cursor uh shifty selection to cursor so i'm using shift s to get that uh, menu okay so what we're going to do now is actually we don't need this first one so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing but with a mesh so we're going to go select this one or we can just select the first piece but it doesn't matter because we selected shift a mesh plane and what we're going to do is we're going to go m in, in edit mode and uh at center okay so now we just have this single vertex 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 whatever and then shift s let's find that point extrude and do the same thing here you go so once we've done that okay cool so now you see we just have this basic mesh over here okay so these are the th all the three parts that we need to do this whole thing so how do we make this into a hair simulation um so i'll show you so first off select this little uh what's that mesh what did we have and then go to the uh, whatever simulation tab i don't know what it's called and then go to cloth okay so 
as you see, it's just going to fall, which which isn't what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to select like the first two because we don't want these to move and then add a new vertex group and we'll say hair pin. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to pressure. No, shape. Shape. And then on shape, we're going to go to pin group and change it to hair pin. Okay. So what that happens now be a sonnet ah you see so what happens now is you can see the mesh just hangs down like that so we can also mess around some of the settings on it so like the tension uh let's see uh not the tension the if you drag the spending to zero up. It's been a while since I've used some plus simulations, but basically you can mess around with the settings all you want, but this is this is good enough for the tutorial, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these little points to follow the vertices of this mesh. So how do we do that? So we select one of these, I think. Uh, check. Uh, yeah, so we select an empty. And then we select the mesh, go to edit mode, and then select the vertice C that's like at the same point. Control P, make vertex parent, okay? What happens now is you see this empty starts following the mesh, which is pretty useful because what we can do is we can make the rig follow an empty. And then we just got to do that with the rest of them. So I'll see you there. Hey, I just wanted to tell you about my Skillshare course. It's on how to make low poly characters. It's Oh, well, it's on Skillshare. You get one month of free premium. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. Uh, if you've already signed up for the course, when you're on the way back up, you can just hit the like button. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just teaching you uh, basically how to go from the beginning, which is like a reference image, going through the entire process, how to set up uh, textures, or uh, how to rig it. And yeah, if that's really interesting, link down below. So don't really need to do this one, but I'll just show you just so that you can remember. Put edit mode, selecting one, and then select a vertice. So select one, select the mesh, select a vertice, control P, make vertex parent, okay? Now you'll see all the uh, the empties are following the mesh. Cool. So what we can do now is if we go to this models uh, into pose mode, what we can do is we can go add a uh, object constraint, change this to inverse kinematics, set the target to MT001. Okay, set the chain length to one. What the chain length is, is basically how much of the uh, the armature is affected. As you can see, if I change, if I, um, basically, you can see it has like a line. That's the chain length. If I drag it up, you can see it starts affecting two of them. Okay, and if I drag it up, it's affecting three bones or four bones. Okay, so you can see it just starts affecting more and more bones like that. So, just set this one because it only needs to affect one bone okay so it doesn't really move so it doesn't really matter but uh, it's supposed to actually oh, we'll see so inverse kinematics mt and then set the chain to one okay yes we're selecting the wrong ones um so you should select one below so mt MT002, like that. And then the third one, we're going to set it to MT004. That's the chain into one. Okay. And now you'll see we have some, uh, the whole thing is animating. But what's cool about this is you can see if we move it around. Ah, uh, okay. So to get this to move, what we need to do is we need to add a armature uh, to here and set it to the meta rig or your rig and then uh, or you could just select the mesh select the armature control p with empty groups and what we're going to do with this is we're going to set these two vertices to be a parent or be uh, affected by the head okay so now if 
Okay, I think he has to be plain, so... No. Ah, I see. Go control P, keep offset from the hair to the head. Oh, you see. Well, yeah. So if you're not in pose mode, it works a bit better. But as you can see, the hair is animating real time. And yeah. So you can mess around with all the settings and stuff like that. By the way, if you have any questions about this, go join my Discord. Link down below. You can chat to me over there, ask any questions about the tutorial, and get help from a couple of the guys in there. Cheers.